Hello, Luminary. We have a big week ahead of us. We are starting to feel some momentous shifts, and this week is just the start. This week, we have our full moon in Pisces, as well as the sun entering the cardinal sign of Libra, initiating our equinox. So it's time to feel into the energy of the stars and see how it shows up for you in your business this week. Welcome to the Savvy Luminary Podcast, Astrology for Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Leslie Tagorda, creator of the Astro Brand Method, business astrologer, brand designer, author, and Aquarius boss woman. I help visionary spiritual entrepreneurs and impact makers like you illuminate and amplify your unique star powers so you can be the luminary you were born to be. I love understanding all of the cosmic transits that we are all feeling. When I put together this business star cast report, this is so that you can understand the energies that we all get to play with. Remember, these are collective cosmic energies available to us all. And there's nothing to be fearful of. Even if there's something like a challenging retrograde or a square that you might be feeling, because instead of looking at a transit as being challenging or hard, we get to get curious with how do we get to use this energy in our lives, in our businesses, instead of working against them. So as you're about to listen to the cosmic notes of this upcoming week, I urge you to get curious about what you need to learn and how you get to work with this energy in your businesses. For those outer planets with those larger shifts, those outer planets that move slowly, you You may feel this energy leading up to a few days, even weeks, and leading away from. And of course, if you're going to personalize these energies with conjunctions and meetings where I'm giving you specific degrees and activations, find out where that degree lives in your own needle chart. The astrological house that contains that degree is going to give you insight as to where in your life and your business you're going to have the most impact. And if you have any natal energies that are also being activated by any of these cosmic energies, that's going to give you more insight as to what's coming up for you in your own business. All right, let's dive into the business star cast for this upcoming week. Hi, luminaries. So we have an unfolding going on, an unfolding in September and October, and things are just starting to, we're having more and more realizations. I know that things have been really, really hard for us, not just in the last few weeks, but in like the last like 19 months. And, you know, I've been mentioning how kind of broken I feel. One of the things that I used to have a really big practice of was yoga. I used to go to yoga at least three to five times a week. And I even did like a 40 day, um, a 40 day challenge of transformation with yoga. And just really lately, I have not been practicing yoga. So this morning I took out, you know, one of my apps that I've been paying $18 a month for and never using during the pandemic. And I decided that I needed to do some yoga this morning, that I needed to kind of stretch my hips open. Like I've just been feeling so tight that I've just having pain from sitting, pain from walking, pain from moving. It's just been terrible, quite honestly, just like my, my body, even though I've been trying to exercise and I've been trying to eat well, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I was like, I'm going to do an easy yoga, even though I used to be able to do some pretty complex things. I'm going to pick an easy yoga. I'm going to pick something that's like a a easy hip opener. And I attended a 30 minute kind of just online class and it was exactly what I needed. And so the gracious teacher on um, the Glow app, she reminded us that we need to lubricate our joints before we start fully moving into things that we need to be able to 
coax and warm up our joints as we move forward and not force or crush anything. And so in that short 30 minutes where we spent a long time luxuriating into the sensations of our hip flexors and our hamstrings, it just really reminded me about what's going on in the stars with us as we are trying to forge our new path as change is upon us and how do we navigate this change instead of feeling so overwhelmed? How do we get comfortable where we are now in the messiness of it and the tightness and the pain of it, but still continue to move forward out of our comfort zone so that we grow? And so I don't necessarily have any answers for you. I simply have questions, these questions that I'm asking myself, these questions that I'm asking the 30 beautiful luminaries who are currently with me in um, our star powered position, our four week intensive, and giving ourselves permission to be where we're at, see where we want to go, even if we don't necessarily have that path, and allow us to coax ourselves and to make more mobile so we can move forward. So let's dive into the astrology of the week of September 19th through 25th, 2021, where the theme of this week is learn from others. I wanted to share this quote by Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, the now past justice of the Supreme Court. Oh my goodness, I, I miss her so much. She says, I'm a very strong believer in listening and learning from others. Yes. And it's a week like this where we are here to listen, where we are here to learn, not only from ourselves, but gain awareness of ourselves from others. So we have a big week with our full moon in Pisces and the sun entering Libra. It's a week where we will deepen our self-awareness through our understanding of others. So I'd like you to pay attention and notice this week. I want you to notice what people's actions, what are they giving you deep insight into what you value and what you learn about yourself and how you see yourself in partnership. Notice if you are feeling victimized by anything or anyone. And if you do, what will you do to reframe and step out of that energy to empower yourself? So this week, pay attention and learn about yourself via how others treat you. I'm sure you all be illuminated. Before I dive into the detailed aspects of this week, I'd like to invite you to the Mercury Retrograde in Libra workshop on Friday, September 24th at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, where we will be rethinking powerful connections. I've already mentioned that relationships are really on par right now, currently with Mars being in Venus's home sign of Libra and Venus, our ability to connect with others in Mars's home sign of Scorpio, traditional home sign of Scorpio. And then we have Mercury going through the through Libra, the sign of connection and partnerships. So relationships are everything. And in this Mercury retrograde workshop, we're going to be thinking about what new perspectives on relationships in your business are now coming through. We're already in the shadow zone of this upcoming Mercury retrograde that starts on the 26th, um, that is Sunday, September 26th. And so we get to really rethink what kind of connections are we calling in? Earlier, when I was introducing this week's episode, and the energy for this week, relationships not only show us about the other person, but they teach us a whole lot about ourselves. So there's so much information to learn and to rethink. So if you want to join us, please head on over to thesabiluminary.com forward slash Mercury and sign up. The pricing is pay what you can with a sliding scale suggested price of $47 to $97. And for those of us that pay $97 and above, you will get your personalized natal chart reading for how this Mercury retrograde will affect you in your business. Again, head on over to thesavvyluminary.com forward slash Mercury. 
Okay, so let's dive into the astrology of the week. So on Monday the 20th, it is a day that feels energized and expansive. It is a good day to let go of overthinking and let in flow. We have a couple of exact aspects happening that day. We have first our Mercury trine Jupiter retrograde happens at 3.53 p.m. Pacific, 6.45 p.m. Eastern, followed an hour later with our full moon in Pisces at 28 degrees. That happens at exactly 4.55 p.m. Pacific, 7.55 p.m. Eastern. So we look at Mercury trine Jupiter retrograde, our two planets of information and exploration with the mind. The theme for this trine is inspire your people with a friendly message. What can you share today that entertains, inspires, or educates? Your message, if you send one today, is sure to be appreciated by your people. This happens right before the full moon in Pisces, where Neptunian energies make things dreamy. Choose your words to be optimistic and expansive. Your message need not be serious. This will be especially inspiring if you have planets or angles in late degrees of air signs. Mercury will be at Libra of 23 degrees, trining Jupiter retrograde of Aquarius at 23 degrees. Just an hour later, we have our beautiful full moon in Pisces at 28 degrees with the sun at Virgo of 28 degrees, where it is time to let go and rise, to unite, to make whole. Simplify and organize your life, business, and energy to be more efficient and in flow. Today's full moon is amplified with powerful yet mysterious emotions. Near the full moon, the sun will be joining with activating Mars sitting across the moon, joined with mystical Neptune. Meanwhile, Mercury, our perception and communication, activates powerful Pluto and expansive Jupiter that I just talked about a little bit earlier. Quite the energetic cocktail when you get to choose your own adventure. Remember, so much of your reality is based on how you choose to react to the experiences in your life and business. If things feel heavy for you today, focus inward and get out your body, mind, and spiritual tools to help you get in flow to work through doubts. Now, if things feel light for you today, share your optimism with those in your community choosing sensitive words as not yet everyone will share your cheer. Look to your chart to see which houses include 28 degrees of Pisces and Virgo. Here are some cues for you. If you follow me on Instagram or in my free Facebook group, The Savvy Luminary, I'll be sharing some axes activations so you can learn what to let go of. So follow me on Instagram at newmooncreativeco or head on over to The Savvy Luminary free Facebook group. On September 22nd, on Wednesday, we have our equinox. The sun enters Libra, a cardinal sign. Remember, those cardinal signs are the starts of every season. And the equinox, such a Libra thing, is about balancing the light and the dark. So the sun enters Libra on the 22nd at exactly 12.21 p.m. Pacific, 321 p.m. Eastern, where the theme is connect and build strong relationships. Ah, Sun and Libra, so beautiful. What does connected, friendly, collaborative growth look like for you in your business? Now through October 22nd, we are in the season of Libra, where we radiate our creativity through making connections, keeping balance, and paying attention to the beauty of collaboration. The sun joins Mercury and Mars already in Libra today to help us act and communicate on our conscious efforts. Libra's connectedness is more than how we can make ourselves more beautiful and attractive. To be in the shadow of Libra is to pursue relationships through popularity and people-pleasing by accommodating others and doing things to be liked at any cost. Now, people-pleasing doesn't take into account Libra's values such as commitment, intimacy, collaboration, and balance, which is another way of thinking of compromise without giving up a part of you. So let's all practice the evolution of Libra. 
collaborative reciprocal relationships where we all win and work together towards a common goal. With Libra's connectedness, you harmonize the relationships in your business and set the foundational energies of win-win situations. As we learned last month, relationships matter and you get a fresh perspective on how to create collaborative reciprocal relationships, the heart of your business. As you balance your needs and other needs through relationships in your business, you deepen your self-awareness. Both you and your relationships must be equal partners in the give and take exchange in business for it to be collaborative. You get to decide what this balance and energetic exchange looks like for you and your business. For all the Libra luminaries, the most connected and beautiful of solar return birthdays to you this season. A little later that day at 6.12 p.m. Pacific, 9.12 p.m. Eastern, we have Mercury squaring Pluto, where the theme is hidden meanings. What misunderstandings require deeper understanding? <laughs> for a day leading up to and away, be on the lookout for misunderstandings or misalignments. These miscommunications are your opportunity and creative edge to dive a bit deeper. There is something under the surface that has more significance and meaning for you. Resist the urge to react in your business and give in to the misunderstandings. Turn your gut reactions into inquisitive research to dig deeper. Your result will be in this uncovering. Mercury at Libra of 24 degrees squaring, Pluto retrograde still at Capricorn of 24 degrees. <laughs> this is especially activating if you have planets or angles in late degree of cardinal signs. Ah, On Thursday, September 23rd, we have Venus opposite Uranus retrograde. This happens at exact meeting at wee hours in the morning at 2.41 a.m. Pacific, 5.41 a.m. Eastern, where the theme is surprise attractions. How can you be open to amazement? Exciting people or experiences could come knocking on your door for a day leading up to or away. Deep breaths, as, this ex as these experiences could be ultra energizing, risky, or even maddening, <laughs> kind of shocking. As with most of these kinds of surprises, don't judge the experience right away as good or bad. Even if a bit uncomfortable, the experience may be what you need to make an up-leveled connection that until now has remained elusive in your life or business. If frustration and anger are running high on a day like today, don't keep the anger in. Shake it out of your nervous system. Venus is at Scorpio, 14 degrees, opposite Uranus retrograde at Taurus of 14 degrees. Now, this is going to be especially stimulating if you have planets or angles in mid degrees of fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Lastly, on Sunday, the 25th, we have Mars trining Saturn retrograde. This happens at 2.50 p.m. Pacific, 5.50 p.m. Eastern, where you are meant to kindly set those boundaries. With whom are you motivated to create clear expectations? You're being asked to create boundaries either for yourself in what you do or in your relationships. You will have a better ability to accomplish what you set after if you streamline and create clear expectations. Mars is at Libra of seven degrees, trining Saturn retrograde of Aquarius of seven degrees. Now, I want to talk about these expectations for a little bit because Mars and Saturn are our energies that separate and create lines in the sand. I actually got my hair cut earlier today and I was talking to my stylist and she was talking about all of these red flags in her relationships that she's always seen, but she never created the boundaries for. And I was explaining to her and I was looking at her chart. She has um, a lot of Uranus in her chart. And so things always feel shocking for her. But I was asking her, I was like, really, are they quite the shocks that you really experience them to be? I mean, yes, I'm not trying to diminish these kinds of pains of the shocks, but it always seems like you've always had some kind of red flag where you were supposed to like to disconnect where you were supposed to walk out first where you were supposed to have some kind of exit strategy and we talked about that and she's like you're right I've always known and I need to have that ex exit strategy so when we're talking about creating clear expectations in your business 
we've talked about boundaries before about what is acceptable, what is not acceptable, but then having one step later, like what are your contingency plans? When expectations are not met, what will you do? This is a great opportunity to get really clear about them and, and write them in the sand. So this is gonna be especially supportive if you have planets or angles in early air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. All right, that's all I have for the astrology of the week. That's all. It's so much. We have a balancing of energies. We have full illuminations. We have some, some shifts that we are really getting ready for that we're going to see a lot of in October. Now, of course, next week we have our Mercury retrograde. So get ready for that. If you want more information on that and you would like to join me for the workshop, head on over to that thesavvyluminary.com forward slash Mercury and join me for a fun filled out afternoon where we'll be rethinking the relationships in our business and learning so much about our own selves. All right, I will talk to you soon. If you love this podcast, please consider doing me a favor and heading over to Apple iTunes and leaving me a rating and review. Your rating and review helps this humble podcast get seen and found by more listeners like you. Please share the love.